Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick demo of the uh, TextMate bundle for JQ Touch. You can get the bundle on my blog. I'll link to it on the YouTube page. Uh, it's right here. Just click on it to download to your desktop and unzip it by double clicking. And you'll have the TextMate bundle there. And you just double click it. And, J uh, and TextMate will take over. I've already got it installed, so it's telling, asking me if I want to update. Um, but if you don't already have it installed, it'll just go into TextMate. So if we look at TextMate, JQ Touch appears in two places. One under the Bundles menu, right here. And also under the File menu in the New from Template, right here. So let's start off with that. And that template creates a, um, a full working JQ Touch mini application. So I can take that and just immediately save it. I'll save it to the desktop. And you can take that and immediately test it to make sure that everything's working. And sure enough, it is. So if you're starting from scratch on a new project, this is really helpful for uh, whipping out a prototype really fast. You can uh, just edit these panels as you wish real easily. It just immediately comes in with home, about, blog, and contact, and you can just change those how, however you want. Uh, in the head, you'll see that there are a couple of hot links directly to my website. And that's just for convenience purposes. Please don't leave those in there, you know, forever. Um, but it, it's just helpful to get you going real quick. Um, you know, get yourself programming right away without having to download JQ Touch and find jQuery, etc. Now this link right here, this jQuery link is a link to the Google CDN. So you can leave that one the way it is. That's supposed to be like that. Um, all right, so maybe uh, you don't want to start from scratch. Maybe you have uh, something in progress already and you don't want to start with a new template. You can start with a regular document, or let's say you have an existing document, and just add in pieces uh, ad hoc one by one. All the commands are JQT tab, and it gives you a list of options. So here I'm just going to add in just the style tags, and again, you'll want to eventually change these to something that's specific to your project and I can just go down the list like so and so on add the constructor maybe I want to add some init options and tab through these these are all set to the defaults you can change them however you like. Oh, that wouldn't be true. That would be a actual file name. Like so. And you can delete whatever you don't need. But that just uh, allows you to get in there and not have to remember what all these options are. It just inserts them for you. So when you get down to the body, you want to start adding panels, uh, which you can do like so. And let's call this one home. And we can get rid of the back button. You wouldn't have a back button on home. And then I'll add in a list, rounded list item. You get the idea. And let's just. So hopefully that will be helpful to people who have TextMate and are using JQ Touch. I'm going to be updating this quite a bit. This is still extremely early in the process. So if you are interested in this, just keep checking back on the website and leave comments either on YouTube or on my blog if there are features or changes that you'd like to see in future versions. Uh, talk to you later.